Now we're going to take a look back at the charity barbecue that took place on OWIG. It raised funds for Shinarama and Terry Fox. Trisha and Darcy have it covered. Mmm, charity smells good. So can I get your names first? I'm Grambo. Okay. Dempster's Whole Grains. Okay. So how are you liking O Week so far? How's your frosh? Well, the frosh, they got so excited last night at opening ceremonies. It was amazing. <laughs> and do you have any advice for first years? Uh, I said it's been fun. Like, just know that like everybody's in the same shoes. That like most of the people, you don't know anybody when you first come in. So you know, have fun, be outgoing, you're gonna have a good time. And how are you enjoying this barbecue? Oh, it's amazing. This is like our first good meal in a while. <laughs> okay, so um, tell me about your experience so far here at Western. And it's, it's been great because everyone's so friendly. So you're enjoying your O-Week? Yes, I am. Can we ask you a couple questions from TV Western? Canadian icon Sue Johansson made her annual stopover during Frost Week to educate us on safe sex and all the fun that comes with it. Our very own Jersey girl Lauren spent time with the sex bird herself, so check out the sexy time they spent together. Take a look. I'm Lauren and I'm here with Sue Johansson from the show Sex with Sue. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Sex with Sue sounds like all 6,000 students at Western University are going to have sex with Sue. Guess what? It's not Ain't that. going to happen. <laughs> Even though we've got a bed in the trailer. If the, you know the trailer? If it's rocking, don't bother knocking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so uh, first off, I want to know what is the best part about your job? Oh, I love it. I just love having an audience and being able to talk about something that for a lot of people is very embarrassing and I'm not in the least bit embarrassed so I can go anywhere at any time and talk about it. Um, and watching their shoulders go down because they're like this in the beginning and they're thinking, oh my God, <laughs> she's gonna say next. And then in the end, it's kind of like, hey, Sue, how about, you know? And uh, you've been, uh, like, awarded the Order of Canada. Did I you ever think that this would lead you to that? No, I certainly did <laughs> not ever think it would lead to the Order of Canada. Um, and it was an honor. I couldn't believe it when it happened. I bet. You get this envelope, private, confidential, and I thought, oh, God, they, they're coming for me for taxes or something. <laughs> and you open it up, and uh, this is to go no further. This is private and confidential. You have been nominated for the Order of Canada. Excuse me? And I can't tell anybody? And you can't. Wow. Until they go public, which is about six weeks. You can't tell anybody. You must have been so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Zip it up is not my strong point. Oh. <laughs> it is scary. There is so much you need to know. And we didn't do a good job of giving you good sex education. So my job this evening is to fill in some of the gaps in your sex education in school. Some of the controversial issues that they would not talk about in school and they avoided anything that was pleasurable, enjoyable, or fun. And the last thing I wanted to ask is, what's like advice you would give to university students concerning sex? Like any okay. sort of tips? For me, the advice is always the same. Know what you're doing. Think ahead. Plan ahead. And never let sex just happen. And that sounds so trite and so... What does Western have to look forward to tonight? Well, uh, basically, you know, um, they're going to look, for, uh, uh, look forward to a very spectacular, awesome, excited, high-energy show. 
that's number one, you know what I mean? So it's about celebrating having a good time, you know. Sounds good. And how'd you guys, like, how'd you guys start? Well, you know, I'm gonna introduce you to Bean, who is like a core member, uh, a long time of break, so he can answer that question. How y'all doing, how you doing, Harlem? Yeah. <laughs> how we got started was, the company was very small based on the cast members. We used to be skate and break, but then the skating part wasn't always too good, so we just cut out the middleman and just put directly break into it. So now, instead of skate and break, we got break the Urban Funk Spectacular. Very cool. So each of you guys have like a different part that you, a uh, different specialty. Could you guys tell us, want to tell us a little bit about My that? specialty is popping because it's just, you just come out, just come at people's necks on the night. <laughs> but popping is my specialty. Theme? Oh yeah. I'm straight up out of Beijing. You know, the Olympics, that's all me. <laughs> yeah. The Olympic man. Um, I'm, I'm multi-talented, so I do it all. Everything. Uh, a week uh, block party here with Kay Dre. Now, can you just tell us a little bit about what you do? Yeah, um, basically, I'm a legal graffiti artist, well, mostly known as an artist. Uh, I specialize in aerosol art. And that's pretty much it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, so, how, why is this important? Like, uh, what does this mean to you doing all this work? Well, right now, it means a lot. It's just like new opportunities. Because as a graffiti artist, you don't really get doors like this. It's usually catered to more like uh, brush art or traditional art. So as a graffiti artist, I feel like I'm representing for a new generation that's coming up. More legal work, more acceptance, more exposure. That's great. Um, can you just tell us about that recent award that you've just won? I've just heard about that. Uh, yeah. Well, basically, it's the International Crime Stoppers Student of the Year Award. and. Um, it's just for all the community work I've been doing with my friend here, Scott Mills, who's a Crime Stoppers police officer and also a legal graffiti coordinator. So if you ever want to do some legal art, holler at my man Scott Mills over here. And um, it's, it's, it was fun because it's just all natural, right? I basically got an award for doing what I love to do. That's really great. And now lastly, can you just tell us what you're going to be doing here tonight uh, at Block Party? Uh, basically, um, like a live demonstration of what graffiti artists do. Okay, should be good. And I'm Sarah with TV Western.